Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm Max, and I want to talk about do-it-yourself DACT in the mission editor in DCS, how to build your own sort of DACT mission. So this week's, uh, I guess, the official mission, I don't remember exactly what they call it, from Eagle Dynamics is a DACT mission, and it is probably a lot better than the one I will show you how to do because I'm not... Um, I, I don't I don't do a lot of mission editing. I do a lot of it for myself, but I don't do a ton of it. Um, I, I don't upload any missions because I very rarely complete them all the way. I just basically set up things for me to do. So, uh, but I, I built a mission like this for the Hornet a while back, and I don't know if it's like the official one or not. It, it, and again, it's not going to be as smooth and neat as that one. But I built a training mission for myself in the Hornet that would pit me against harder and harder and harder opponents as I killed the opponents. So the idea was you start the mission, you fight an easy opponent, if you kill it, then a harder opponent comes out. If you kill that one, a harder opponent comes out. So you can get better and better and better. Um, and and I set it up so that you know at, at, a, at a certain point two opponents come out at once and, and things like that. So um, I'm, I'm not going to say that this is the absolute best way to do this because I don't know I, I just work through triggers until I find something that works. But this is a way to get you started on any aircraft. It doesn't have to be the Hornet. It can be any aircraft. And um, you can set up dissimilar air combat training or just training. It could be similar combat, uh, sim similar uh, airplanes uh, if you wanted it to be. And you can just make it harder and harder and harder. So it, it just depends on what you want. Um, but what we're basically going to be using are triggers to detect when or, or to spawn in a new group of aircraft when one group dies. That's the main thing we're going to be doing. And then we'll use that same kind of trigger in another video that I want to show um, to make a little bit more dynamic missions. Um, so first things first, um, I always try to throw in whatever plane it is that I'm trying to use. This one I'm going to do a single player mission, so I'm just going to pop a plane in here. And let's say that we just wanted to do um, uh, an, an F-15. Let's say that's what we were wanting to do. Um, now you've got to you've got to get ready to, or you've got to be ready to name these groups. This is the airplane group. This is its name. The airplane name is down here. And I don't usually mess with that. You you can. There are some reasons you might need to, but um, the group is what's going to matter for the triggers that I'm using. So um, we're going to make that player, and of course we're going to go down and select whatever it is that that we want. That's not the one. That's the one. And let's do this one. Okay. So. I usually don't throw in waypoints for me in a mission like this. I'll just, because it's my mission, I kind of know where I want things to happen. Okay, so we're done with that one. Now, we need an enemy air group. And we're just going to start these over here. I forget how far this is. Let's check how far that is real quick. That's not quite far enough. If we're if we're doing missile stuff, that's that's not quite far enough. So we'll start them out here, and this one is going to be enemy one, and you can name them whatever you want. Like I said, it it doesn't really matter, but um, we'll make this Iranian, and we'll make it uh, an F eighty six, just to just to make it fun. Um, but we will give this guy two of those. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, cool. So now, here's here's the trick. And I don't know if this is absolutely necessary, but from what I've been told, you've got to give them a waypoint and then set them to late activation. I don't know if you have to do that before you set it to late activation or not. I really don't know. Um, but that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to set a waypoint out here, and I'm going to bump this guy up to 18,000 feet, so hopefully he'll fly up that high. And I'm going to give him another waypoint. Whoops. There we go. I don't like the way this works in the editor. I really don't, but that's the way it works. And then we're going to add an advanced waypoint, 
bad. I think it's start in root text. Yeah, uh, search then engage group, and we're going to pick for the group player. That's us. So he's going to come to this point, and then he's going to try to find us. And I don't know if that's the best way to make that work. Sometimes I'll use a search then engage in zone and make the zone, you know, big, the area that I want it to be. Um, but I want this guy to come looking for me. Okay, so now let's put in another one. And I think that we'll try the new MiG-19. I didn't realize that that was in game yet. We'll try it. Um, hopefully it doesn't crash things. Um, I'm setting these to good right now. Um, you can play around with the enemy you know, too. You can play around with the uh, skill settings. Let's go in here. Man, look at that. That is such a cool looking airplane. Huh, that's cool. We'll just leave it like that. And we're going to give him a couple of those missiles. This guy might actually be harder than, than what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, and then once again, I'm going to I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to give him one of these. Late activation. Pump him out to here. S kind of, same kind of a deal. I'll put him up at 20,000 feet. Add an advanced waypoint. Start in route task. Search then engage group. Player. So now that one's done. And we'll do one more for the sake of, of this particular exercise. We'll pop this guy in and we're going to make him a MiG 29A. We'll name it Enemy 3. Change him to good as well. I like the sand blue. That's the one I like. And we'll just give him doesn't really matter. We'll give him that one. That looks like a pretty versatile loadout. Okay. Add a waypoint. Late activation. Okay, now it's time for the triggers. So you go to the set rules for trigger over here. And this, if you're used to triggers in like Arma, this is a little bit different. But I actually, I've, I've grown to like this. I think it's less versatile than what Arma's is. But it is um, pretty easy to set some basic stuff up really quickly. So we're going to call this, we could call it like Enemy 1. I'm going to call it F86 because this is my F86 spawn. I don't need to really change anything here. Nothing's happening. Um, this is just this is just my trigger. So the conditions are here. So uh, actually, I just realized I don't need a trigger for the F86 and I don't need it to be late activation. We'll change that in a minute. We'll call this MiG-19. Sorry about that. So then here, we need to find group dead, enemy 1. So enemy 1 was our F-86. Maybe I should have called these enemy 1, enemy 2 with the triggers and the groups to help keep it consistent. Um, good naming can really make your triggers, uh, trigger creation a lot easier. Um, you'll figure out kind of what system works for you. But um, anyway, on the condition that enemy 1 is dead, we want to group activate enemy 2. It's as simple as that. Now when the F-86 is dead, the MiG-19 spawns in. Okay, so while we're here, we can create an entirely new trigger. And see, now we've got this trigger here, but since it's not highlighted, nothing shows up over here. We don't have our arguments over here yet. So this trigger we're going to call MiG-29 new group dead Enemy 2, once the MiG-19 is dead, we will group activate Enemy 3. 
right? Okay, so that's all the triggers we really need. You could set up a uh, trigger for when the MiG-29 is dead. You get a win message. Um, let's do that real quick. Just, just so everybody's aware of how to do that. You can also do, like if it's a large group and you wanted something to spawn before they were all dead, you could do group alive less than, and it's a percentage of how many of them are left, basically, or how many of them are dead. Um, where message to all, I'll just do that. You win. Congratulations. And you can tell how many seconds you want it to play for. Alright, so now we've got three simple triggers. I need to go back in here and change this guy, turn off late activation for him. And we will put this save as. And this is not the greatest mission ever, but F15 DAC. I don't know if this is true DAC or not. Um, but it's it's practice, so you can see how you can set up a DACT mission um, this way. I am actually a little bit worried about all of these planes, really. Like, sometimes you jump in and you think that, oh, I've got an F-15 and I'm up against an F-86 Sabre. This is going to be super easy. But, especially for someone like me who doesn't fly that often... Um, I'm I'm not great at managing the uh, the controls and whatnot. So, or ma managing sorry the flight model. So first things first, I'm going to turn off labels, and let's see if I can remember how to turn my radar on. See the cold. Is it gonna... It's gonna get him. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We gotta lock him twice. I locked him twice. Okay, so we should have. Big 19 spawn again. Ooh, and there he is.
I wasn't paying attention to my altitude. So this guy gets a maneuvering kill on me as I never saw it. you want to go buy the MiG-19. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. Um, I need to be a better pilot, but that is a way that you can put some training missions together that um, using triggers to where you're fighting one at a time or two at a time or whatever the case may be. Uh, hopefully that makes sense, and thank you guys for watching. Happy flying.